We've got like five different social media systems in The Sims now, and they're all not very good. But for some reason, they just keep making new ones in like every new pack. Maybe that's why they just keep making new ones, because they still haven't gotten it right yet. First, we got a social media career in City Living. And then in Get Famous, they added like a fame feature to social media and let you live stream from drones. Then we got that whole Social Bunny app in high school years, and two new Simfluencer careers in that pack. So so there is a whole bunch of different social media stuff going on, and there's actually a couple different ways that your sim can be a professional gamer. In the high school pack, we got this new video game streamer career. We also got a bunch of like gamer stuff in that pack as well, and I'm feeling kind of inspired. I think I want to try to build like a gamer apartment, because we have all these things that I haven't really used, and it also just kind of seems fitting, because today's video is actually sponsored by Logitech G. I'm sure we're all familiar with Logitech already, I mean, they are the reason that we have what I would consider to be the single greatest cast asset of all time. Thanks to them, we have this absolutely amazing hat. And I'm sorry, I can't say it with a straight face. I can't believe this thing exists. There's just something about it that is so goofy. I feel like it's got potential. It's actually a cute headset, but like in The Sims, it's like too big, the texture's off. There's just something weird about this thing. I can't take it seriously. But I did make two Sims inspired by it, and I can safely say that this is the first time I have ever used this hat. I like the vibes, but um, I think that maybe my headset is a little bit cuter. This is the G735 headset, and I wear this thing for hours every day. She's cute, but she's also like a really good headset. Most of the Logitech G Aurora collection is on sale this week for Amazon Gaming Week, so if you've been eyeing these headphones or any of the Aurora stuff like the keyboard, you can get a pretty good deal right now. I'll link that down below if you want to go check it out. Look at how cute that is. Okay, I didn't plan this, but I do have the pink accessories on right now. My key caps match my t-shirts. I'm not really sure where I want to build this because I originally thought I would do it here, but this apartment has like the medium wall height and it's a needs TLC one, so it's got like leaky pipes and rats and stuff. I don't think the rats are my vibe today. You know what? This apartment in Evergreen Harbor is pretty small and it has like no windows, but actually that might be kind of fun because it gives us more room to put like fairy lights and stuff. I wasn't kidding by the way, there's like no windows and they're all pretty small. This tiny one by the door really gets me. Every time I hate this, like actually hate this. I'm gonna need some more money because gaming computers are expensive. And otherwise this is a pretty decent size for us. I don't think we can get too fancy with the floor plan here because there's not really a lot of space for us to work with. This is probably gonna end up being very similar to the original floor plan. But we got two bedrooms, a bathroom, and then we can have the kitchen over here, maybe a dining space. And then on this side, we can have a nice big couch, maybe a big TV with like a gaming console. I do kind of wish this room was like a little bit smaller. I wonder if we could do it like that. That gives us some more space and we don't need to have a giant bathroom. Like this is plenty big. So I dressed one of them, Erica, in more like Sims colors with the green and blue. And then her roommate, Ryan, wears more pink and purple. So I kind of want to use those two color schemes for their bedrooms. High School Years has this really cool door with like some fun swatches. I'm pretty sure a couple of them even have like LED lights like this one. This one's got like a controller on it. Oh my God. <gasps> that one's got a whole LED strip. I've never seen that swatch. I'm kind of embarrassed by that. I've like actually never seen that. Well, maybe the pink room can have that color. That's amazing. Okay, I think we'll use this one for the pink and purple room. And then how about this one for the blue room? Because it has like the blue and green with the lights. We have just a plain version for the bathroom. This actually looks really cool. I'm pretty sure even this chair has LED strips on it. Like I think this thing glows in the dark. I'm going through now and just grabbing all the things that I definitely want to use in here. And I'm getting a little bit intimidated because this room is like not very big and there's a lot of stuff that I want to use. I kind of like this teal and black color combo, so I might use that. Okay, I didn't really think about the fact that I have to pick a floor color. <laughs> Maybe I'll do like a fun carpet in one of the bedrooms and I might just do the same wood floor in the rest of the space. There are some kind of fun rugs, so we could always use this one. Oh wait, this is kind of cool. I know that's a different color scheme. <laughs> that's adding in some more purple, but we could do like purple and teal. We definitely need to use these LED strips everywhere. These are gonna be so cool in these rooms. I don't know if I should make them teal, but I mean, this is kind of the vibes that we're going for. Oh, the green is scary. Maybe don't do all green. <laughs> That's a little bit much. This one's a lot more palatable. The teal is a lot easier to look at. And then we could get like a regular colored light too that will hopefully tone it down. So I wanna put clutter up on the top shelf here, but stuff isn't slotting where I want it to. If you're ever having that problem, you can try and grab a big shelf. So in this case, I'm gonna use this one 
from Dream Home Decorator. There's a similar cube shelf from high school years and you can place the shelf at the right height. So I'll get it like right there. And then you can slot the item that you want on top of that shelf, move it off, move the shelf, and then you've got the item at the right height and then you can kind of like scoot it around and alt place it to the right spot. It's a good way of doing it without having to press nine to raise items up because sometimes it goes to the wrong height. Like you can see right now that's clipping in the desk or it's floating. If you do the slot trick, you don't have to worry about that. There's also mods for this. There's like a shelf mod that does the same thing. But if you have these packs, you can just use the item in game. You've probably seen me do this exact same thing with kitchen counters when I'm decorating counters. It's kind of weird. You have to be like a little bit sneaky about it and like trick the game so that you can get items into a better spot, but it does work really well. It takes a ridiculous amount of effort to decorate these desks, doesn't it? There's just so much space. So there's so many places to put things. It takes forever to fill them all the way up. I keep like moving the desk out of the way, placing my items, moving it back to make sure they're in the right spot. <laughs> I think I like how that looks though. I love these fairy lights in front of the windows. I'm just not sure what color. In fact, I've been avoiding painting the walls because I don't know what color to use for that either. But maybe we could have like a black accent wall in the back. We can go all out and paint it this like darker teal color. I don't love the black, but maybe we could do like, oh, this color in brick is fun. Okay, I did spend probably way too long on this room, but here's the first one. This bed is actually really cool. I probably won't use this like futuristic looking desk then. What if we made like one of those cube shelves? Everybody has, I mean, look. <laughs> Everybody has these. I'm putting all the LED strips in here too. I actually really like how these look and it's kind of cool to get to pick like, whoa, okay. <laughs> it's kind of cool to get to pick a color for the room, but that might be a little bit much. Maybe I'll dim them a little bit. Oh, that's not so bad. Once you get rid of the ceiling light, it's not as dramatic. I don't know how to use these things. <laughs> these like triangle lights. I've seen people on the internet have those in their stream backgrounds and stuff, but I don't really know what you're supposed to do with them. Oh, I really like this little pink heart chair. Okay, is it ridiculous to have fairy lights and LED lights? Is that like entirely too much? I don't think so. I kind of love that. It feels like this poster was made for this wall too. It fits this space so well. I put a clothing rack and like some messy clothes by the hamper over here in the corner. Do you think that we could get a lava lamp? It's already all pink in here, so we may as well just go all out with it. I'm doing that trick again where you move the item out of the way so you can place stuff. It's just kind of annoying because you have to like kind of guess where stuff needs to go and then keep putting the table back to make sure it's right. But I think I like how this nightstand looks. Now I'm going through and trying to find stuff to decorate the shelves with. I've got like some makeup. I put a couple books. There's a couple just like little baskets from Dream Home Decorator. And that's honestly kind of realistic just to have like some baskets there in the shelves. I think I'm kind of imagining that these two are college students, which is why I'm decorating the rooms with like books and stuff. Oh my God, I totally forgot there's like headphones from the kit. We have to use those. That's actually so cute. Hold on. Oh, decorating in this game is so annoying. You have to fill all of the slots to do this. Are we done? Okay. I want to put them on the top shelf right here and then go back and delete all the extra ones while being careful not to delete anything else that I have placed here. Okay. Oh, that's perfect. I can't believe I forgot about those. Okay. Well, I think with that, the two bedrooms are done. I really like how much personality they have. And we now just have to furnish the entire rest of the apartment, which currently has no personality. Starting with the bathroom, because for me at least, this is the most boring. I do like this shower curtain and I kind of like the pink tub. Usually when I'm decorating bathrooms, I have this sort of like get it over with mindset. I just don't really find them all that interesting. So saying that, we really got to try to make it interesting today. Also, this is a cat. Um, she's probably just going to sit here for a while. <laughs> she just appears out of nowhere sometimes. So if you see a tail kind of going back and forth, just ignore it. Okay, I put a bunch of clutter on this bathroom sink. I'm kind of going for like a combination void critter and Z. Zebra? <laughs> I don't know what this is. This is not zebra, but it's like fancy something. I'm channeling those two things together. I think it's okay if it's kind of weird and doesn't match. Do we really all have perfectly matching bathrooms in real life? No, probably not. Although this is a little bit ugly. <laughs> Maybe it's too much. 
<laughs> Maybe I shouldn't use this one. If we're gonna do the void critter thing, we might have to do a plane shower. That's probably better. Okay, I'm sorry. That was foolish of me. I won't do it again. I'm getting some LED lights in the living room too. I probably won't put them everywhere. I might also go for more of a purple color scheme in the living room. I really like how that looks on this wall. I think we can also definitely have a giant TV. Maybe even bigger. I mean, we could go all out. We could do like the biggest TV. Well, we don't have like a budget or anything, so we might as well. Okay, so I used wall cabinets here, and now I'm sizing down a table and putting it inside of the cabinet so it looks like there's legs. Gets kind of weird when the walls are cut away, but uh, just ignore it because <laughs> I like how it looks. Oh my gosh, this rug might actually be like the perfect color scheme for this. We can try and use the blue and the pink and purples as like the accent colors. I'm not really sure what couch swatch to use. Some of these are kind of wild. I actually think that this green one might work pretty well. It's almost too big. That's the problem that I'm facing right now. I don't really know how to fill in this space. I like almost want to get rid of this, which sounds ridiculous, but I like prefer the tighter living area. We definitely need to use a color as the kitchen cabinets. I actually kind of like those blue ones. There's a tiny bit of orange in the rug, so maybe I could use these orange dining chairs. Well, now I wonder if I should do black cabinets. There's like so much black over here. We need to bring it to this side while still keeping with the pastels. How about these chairs? Oh my God, we could use like a pastel fridge. Is that so ridiculous? <laughs> it might be a little ridiculous. It's got a matching oven though. I think that that combined with the black cabinets is weird. Like I'm not 100% sure that these things go together. <laughs> I want to like it, but I don't think it looks good. Wait, I've never tried this, but what if we got some under cabinet lighting? We can try and bring some more of the purple over here this way. Is this too much? It's certainly a lot. It is kind of cool though. You got to admit. High school years just in general has some kind of cool lights. Like we have these kind of fun ceiling lights. We also have all of these cool lights. I didn't use these in the bedroom. I probably could have. I just wasn't sure if it would be too much or not because <laughs> it does take up like all the space. Okay, the cat has finally left. I have access to my keyboard completely again. But if I try to put the canopy over the bed, it's really cool. But then like, is the room too small for this? Maybe if I got rid of these fairy lights. I think that having fairy lights above the bed and on the wall next to the bed is too much, but it is possible that this could be nice. Let's just keep it. Do you know what bothers me so much? You can't size these pictures up because they have that really weird shadow. I can't tell how many LED strips is too many LED strips because <laughs> it's actually kind of fun to have a bunch of them. And that's like very much the vibes of this whole place. But also at what point does it cross the line? At what point have we gone too far? with the LED strips. Okay, I got a speaker and a video game console and put them right here so your Sims can listen to music, they can play games. I totally imagine the Sims that live here would be into board games, so I might put like a little board game box. This is obviously fake. <laughs> it doesn't actually work. It's a, it's a decoration. I love the combo of these three like game posters. I think that looks so cool. I still don't really know what to put on this wall next to the kitchen. Sure would be nice if there was, I don't know, maybe like a window. This'll do though. I kind of like the birds. <laughs> the birds are okay. I think I think that the apartment might be done. I really, really like how this turned out. I never build anything like this. I don't usually mess with lighting color and stuff even. So it's been kind of fun to explore all these items and like try and really go all out with the gamer stuff. There's so much cute like decor and LED lights and even like these headphones that I totally forgot about. I did not, however, forget about these headphones, which by the way are on sale right now. I had to throw it in there. It was perfect timing. I'm sorry. But also I totally did not know that these doors had light swatches. So it's kind of fun to explore all this stuff and, and find new versions of items that I forgot existed. To give you a quick tour, you walk in the front door over here. To the right, we've got this little tiny kitchen and dining area. I didn't put a trash can. I guess I could put it right here. They would probably have the fancy one that gives you money when you put plates in it, right? Over here to the left, we've got the living room. We have those fake tables. We have like the little gaming equipment. We got some board games. I love this sitting area and I love this rug. I think this looks so good together. I did leave a just empty hole <laughs> in the the wall. I don't know what to put here. I wanted the room to be smaller, so I did what I had to do. But with that, I could have like kind of a little entry corner. So I put like a mirror with a bag hook, 
There's some shoes on the floor. I might make these a more fun color though, because they were kind of boring. In the hallway, I made this kind of cute area with a table. Oh, I might actually get a thermostat too. See, this is why it's good to go back through your builds. You remember things that you forgot. To the right, we have the bathroom, which sucks, but it's okay. It's not a priority. To the left, we have the first, like I'm gonna call it Sims themed gaming room. Maybe I should have given them a Sims poster. We have so many. That actually works really well there too. I have never used this bed swatch, but I feel like it matches pretty well. I put a lot of decor everywhere. There's like so many gaming posters I got to use even. I love the clutter on this desk. And then back out this way, we have the pink room. There's kind of a theme of lights in this build. There's like LED strips, LED wall lights, fairy lights. <laughs> They're just everywhere. But I like this one a lot too. And that, my friends, is the whole apartment. I'm gonna put it on the gallery for you. If you want to download this, you have to place it as a room. It's kind of weird. This is just how apartments work in The Sims. All the preview photos look so bad. I don't even know which one to use. This might have to do. But if you want to place it, make sure you put it on Pinecrest Apartments number 404 in Evergreen Harbor. That's the one that it fits in. And then once you download it, just replace the walls that I had to delete. You have to put it up on the gallery all as one room, so I have to delete the walls in between them so the game thinks it's just one room, basically. But I hope that you enjoyed this build. This is one of my favorite apartments that I've maybe ever done. And a huge thank you again to our friends over at Logitech G for sponsoring today's video. I'm serious, you guys. The deal they have going on for Amazon Gaming week is really good. So if you're looking for some new headphones, maybe a new keyboard, anything like that, the Aurora collection is on sale and it's really, really cute stuff. And I would also like to thank them for giving me explicit permission to make fun of this hat. It's almost so bad that it's good. Like it's kind of growing on me and I'm not joking. On that note though, I'm going to end this video right here. So thank you for watching and I'll catch you all tomorrow. Okay. Bye everybody. It's not even their fault about the headset. It's just The Sims cannot successfully collab. Think about it. Every collab they've done, mess. Every single one.